But we now need to go further and implement a proportionate testing regime for arrivals from across the whole world. So we're not going to stop people travelling. I want to stress that we're not going to stop people travelling, but we will require anyone who enters the UK to take a PCR test by the end of the second day after their arrival and to self-isolate until they have a negative result. Second, we need to slow down the spread of this variant here in the UK because measures at the border can only ever minimise and delay the arrival of a new variant rather than stop it altogether. So in addition to the measures we're already taking to locate those who have been in countries of concern over the last 10 days, we will require all contacts of those who test positive with a, su a suspected case of Omicron to self-isolate for 10 days, regardless of your vaccination status. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome back to regular schedule. <laughs> Thank you so much for the feedback and sort of like your comments and engagement on the video I did with Aka with regard to, you know, government blocking and whatnot. Thank you so much on that. But today's video is going to be all about the new Omicron variant of COVID-19. Yes, there is another variant. Like, when is this COVID nightmare going to be over? Like, I am so over it. Like, how are you guys feeling about it? Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this new um, variant do you feel like scared do you feel tired do you feel people are blown out of proportion like leave a comment in the comment section below today's video is going to be specifically about how this new variant of COVID-19 affects travel to the UK England specifically from Nigeria I will be detailing all you need to know about the travel requirements if you have been vaccinated and if you haven't been vaccinated. I feel this is especially important given the fact that we're entering into the peak holiday season. If it's your first time here, my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator, creating to help Nigerians globally travel better and smarter. If that is something that you feel you'd benefit from, feel free to hit that big red subscribe button down below and also give this video a huge thumbs up. By thumbsing up, you let me know that you enjoy this kind of content and it actually just encourages me and motivates me to keep creating more content like this in the future. So make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. So I'm actually going to read the information from um, the gov.uk website, which I'm also, I'm also going to link in the description box below so you can easily go and verify it and see if there's any changes in the future, right? This particular piece of information was updated on the 28th of November 2021, right? And what I'm going to be sharing with you today are the updates, as in the travel requirements that are going to come into place after 4 a.m. on the 30th of November. So it says here what you must do if you arrive in England after 4 a.m. on the 30th of November. So let's talk about the fully vaccinated traveler. So if you've been fully vaccinated and you have evidence of your vaccination, right, you must self-isolate immediately, right? Take a PCR test before the end of day two after you arrive, right? It states clearly that lateral flow tests that used to be allowed before will no longer be allowed, right? So you have to actually do a PCR test. Um, key to note that for day two, it's any time before day two you can take this PCR test. Note that your date of arrival is day zero, which would be a bit confusing because I know for Nigeria, date of arrival is day one, right? But for the England, UK, date of arrival is day zero, right? So states you can take a PCR test right you know, after you land, um, but definitely before um, the end of day two. It then says that if um, that you can leave self-isolation if your PCR test result is negative. So vaccinated, take your PCR test once you land, you self-isolate, do PCR test. If you're negative, you're good to go, right? So it also states here just in terms of what you need to do actions before you board the flight going to England, right? It says if you're fully vaccinated, this is what you need to do if you qualify under the fully vaccinated rules for travel to England, right? It states um, you must book and pay for a COVID-19 test to be taken before the end of day two in England, right? So you have to pay in advance for this day two test. Second of all, it also states that you have to complete a passenger locator form to be completed within 48 hours before you arrive in England. This has always been the case, right? So 
bef between 48, within 48 hours to your flight, that is when you can complete your passenger locator form. You can't complete it anytime earlier than that. So that's really, really key to note. It also states that you cannot use an NHS test for this, right? You must actually book a private test. Um, I guess for the government, it's probably a burden when a lot of people are using the NHS tests um, for travel. So I'm sure that's why they're reemphasizing here that you cannot use um, the NHS tests, right? Um, it also states that you actually need to enter your COVID-19 test booking reference once you've paid for it into the passenger locator form. I guess to, to ensure that you actually paid for a test, right? They did that. It also states that if you're going to be in England for less than two days, right? Perhaps you're transiting or spending a day, um, you will still need, when I say you're not transiting, if you're spending a day or less than two days, you will still need to book and pay for that um, day two COVID test. So that's key to note. Okay, so what happens if you know, you're fully vaccinated, you take a PCR test and the PCR test is positive, right? If this happens, um, you must self-isolate for 10 full days, bearing in mind that your day of your test is day zero. Right. If your PCR test comes up on Claire, um, you must actually self isolate again for 10 full days. Um, the day you take the test is day zero. Right. It then also say that if it's, for example, if it's on Claire, you can choose to take another private test. If the test result is negative, then you can actually stop isolating. So if you feel there was an issue with the test, um, because it was on Claire, you can actually pay to do another one. And if you are negative, um, you can basically stop self-isolating. So now let's talk about if you have not been fully vaccinated. Um, it states clearly that before you travel to England, um, you must take a COVID test, right? To be taken in the three days before you travel to England. So before you leave Nigeria, you have to take um, a COVID test in the three days before you travel to England. You then have to book in advance and pay for a day two and day eight COVID-19 PCR test. Hey. Life is getting expensive to be taken after arrival in England. And you also have to complete a passenger locator form to be completed in the 48 hours before you arrive in England, right? Um, it then states that when she gets arrived in England, this is for non-vaccinated travelers, you have to quarantine at home or in, your, in the place you're staying for 10 full days right away then. Then you have to take the COVID-19 PCR test that you've booked. That's your day two and day eight test. You need to take those. Um, it states with regard to when you have to take the day two and day eight test, it says you must take the first test on or before day two. So you can take it on day zero, day one, but, or day two, not after. And the second test on or after day eight. Second test meaning on day eight, or you can take it after. Key to, you know, they reiterated here again that the day you arrive is day zero. It then states also that if you're in England for less than 10 days, you need to quarantine for the full time that you're there. And you also need to book. So you have to pay for those day two and day eight tests, regardless if you're going to be there for that long or not. You only need to take the test if you're still in England on those days, right? So even though you have to pay for it in advance, if you're not around on day eight, you don't have to take that particular test. It then states with regard to what to do if it's positive or negative. So if the test result is positive, if your day two test is positive, you must self-isolate for 10 full days, right? Bearing in mind that the day you took your test is day zero. You do not need to take your day eight test if your day two test is positive. So meaning if you're positive on day two, don't worry about doing the day eight test, just self-isolate for the next 10 days. If your day two test is negative though, you must still take your day eight test. If your day eight test is positive, you must self-isolate for 10 full days. The day you took your day eight test is day zero. So you actually self-isolate from the day you find out that you're positive, if that makes sense. Um, it states here um, for you know, non-vaccinated travelers, if your test result is negative, what happens? So if your day two test is negative, it actually states that you must continue to quarantine basically for the full 10 days. You must then also take your day eight test on or after day eight. If your day eight test is negative, you can stop quarantine on whichever day is later. Day 10, if day zero is the day you arrived in England or when you receive your day eight test results. If your test result is unclear, it states that you have to self-isolate for 10 full days. Again, your day you took your test is day zero. 
If the result of your day eight test is negative, you can stop self-isolating on whichever is later. Day 10, if day two, zero is the day you arrived in England or the day you received your negative day eight test result, right? If your day eight test is unclear, you must isolate for 10 full days again and the day you took your day eight test is actually day zero. I hope this makes sense. Like, I'm gonna leave the link, as I said, in the comment section um, if you want um, to get some clarifications. It also states here that you can actually choose again to do another private test and if that test is um, negative, you can stop isolating on whichever day is later. Day 10, if day zero is the day you arrived in England or the day you received the negative, or the, the day you received the negative replacement test result from the additional tests, if that makes sense. Um, it also talks a little bit about the test to release scheme. They're diff um, if you need to quarantine, you may be able to quarantine early if you pay for a private COVID test through the test to release scheme. I'll leave all that link in the description box below so you guys can check that out. With regard to traveling with children, I know a lot of you guys will be like, oh, what are the rules? I'm gonna state it here. It states that children that are age seven and under do not have to quarantine on arrival in England. This applies whether they are vaccinated or not. So if they're 17 and under, no need to, um, to um, what's it called, to quarantine. Children age four and under do not have to take any COVID-19 test, travel test. Five to 17 year olds do not have to take a COVID test before travel to England, but they must test on arrival before the end of day two at the latest. Right? Arrival day is day zero again. Right? So from the 30th of November, um, 4 a.m., the five to 17 year olds must take a PCR test. So it's key to note that basically lateral tests are wiped out currently. You're, you're not um, allowed to take them, right? Given the om Omicron um, variants, like lateral tests are not um, allowed simply because I think lateral tests do not enable them to actually um, find the variants, right? So I think a proper lab PCR test is needed to be able to, to identify if the variant um, is there or not. Gosh, guys, that was, I think, a very quick rush video, but I really hope you understood what the new requirements are. I think it's so important during the holiday season to be on top of your information. Like, do not rely on any um, official at a, um, a lab or at the airport in Nigeria to tell you what the requirements are. Follow the information from the government, official government website. I'll leave the link in the comment section below. I know that these information changes regularly, so if you check the link, it's gonna be updated, right? Um, I really hope you found the video useful. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. A lot of great, amazing content still to come. If you're new, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and join this incredible family and get us to 70,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your love, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Yeah.